Don't make me throw you over, because I will. Alright, release. I told you he would talk. Throw. Time to join your friends. Capture your coma. Hell no, we ain't got time to capture him. Your ass is going to the street. Bye. Have a good time. Because your ass is dead. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? Fifty-two American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just get the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back here to another episode. Today, we are getting in here, checking out the Call of Duty Cold War. I'm actually really excited about this game. I don't get too excited about Call of Duty games all that often. Uh, Call of Duty, the last couple years, I feel like has been a major letdown. That's just me personally, but that's how I feel about it. So, I've not been real big on Call of Duty. I've been more towards the Battlefield side of, you know, these kind of games. But... I'm definitely excited about Come this on. one, Cold War, back in the day, let's get it. Um, I'm filming this a couple days before Christmas, so I hope you guys had a great Christmas by the time this comes out. Damn, that music is loud. But I'm, I'm down with the music. I love the oldies, absolutely love this time period of music and everything like that. So I'm excited, I'm hoping this game lives up to everything. Yo, can I get one of them? Oh shit! Alright, what do we want here? We want that MP5, we got the Milano, and we got the AK-74. I'm feeling that MP5. Oh, shit, bro. All right. I'm good. Shut that before someone steals it. But like I'm saying, I'm not a big fan of Call of Duty games, but I am excited to get in here and try this one out. Um, I'm filming this a couple days before Christmas, so by the time it gets out to you guys and you guys see it, uh, it'll be after Christmas. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope you guys got everything that you wanted. I hope your family's healthy. I hope everything is going good for you guys in these very tough times. These very times of unknown, you know? But I hope your guys' family and everything like that is staying safe, staying healthy, and doing what they can do to continue on with that. But, uh, alright, let's get in here and let's see what all we're going to be getting into. We got Woods, we got Adler. What are we doing here? We're trying to infiltrate this place? Why can't I aim? I can't do shit. There we go. Light him up. Alright, I got you, fam. Say no more. Say no more. Oh, shit, there's more. Alright, there we go. We got a headshot on him. Hey, Woods, watch yourself, bro. Oh, shit, we got to reload. What a bitch, time to reload. Alive. Yeah, watch out, Wood. Woods. What the fuck you doing, Woods? We got it left side, left side. I got him. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I'll handle him. Y'all sit there and enjoy your fucking coffee. It's all good. Dude, did y'all not see him behind the fucking... Oh, my God. Jesus. These two are about as worthless as two fucks. Christ, dude. Fuck me. Alright, sorry about that. I had to turn the game volume down quite a bit. That shit was ridiculously loud. Alright, what do we gotta do? We gotta go upstairs? Alright, I got you. Alright, I hear someone running. 
Yep, I know I heard somebody running. Yeah, it would definitely be great if you got... Oh, shit, we got to capture him. I got you. Oh, shit! All right. Take down system. Initiate a brutal melee attack or grab an enemy as a human shield. That's dope. That is dope. Oh, broke his nose. All right. And we got a shield. What's up, bitches? You got to shoot your other teammate, huh? You got to shoot your buddy, huh? All right. Let's go ahead and terminate him. We're done with him. We used him for a couple seconds. We're good with it. Oh, my God. My aim is like I'm playing Rainbow Six Siege. Good God. What the fuck? Oh. With our worthless-ass teammates, man. Not doing a damn thing. Headshot. All right. All right. That's our teammate, Adler. Wood How the fuck did Woods just get up here? Watch him right side, in the doorway. All right, this is kind of pissing me off here. This gun does not hold as many bullets as I thought it would. Holy shit, how much shield does he have on? Holy fuck, that gun does. All right, where's he at? Is that him? Yep. Oh shit, did not see those guys there. All right, we gotta rotate. All right, oh my God, they are fucking me up. He's behind this barrier, there he is. And he's still alive. How much armor are these guys wearing, man? There he goes. Good God. All right, we're just going to have to keep rotating. That's all we're going to have to do. They think we're on one side, and then we hit them on the other side. Just like that. Where's this guy shooting at? Where the fuck is he shooting from? Oh. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'll cover you. That's what I've been doing the entire time. I'm glad to see shit doesn't change in Call of Duty. You got teammates, but they're about as fucking worthless as anything. God damn! Oh shit, we got a room in here we can come in? Is that a person? Definitely not. Alright. Let's get out of that. We didn't really have a shot on anybody in there. Oh shit! I did not realize he was just chilling right there, looking at the fucking flowers. All right, he's down, and headshot. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, how about y'all shoot your fucking weapons over there? What the hell's the point of having teammates if y'all are just gonna stand there and not do a damn thing? Oh, shit, don't kill him. Okay, I gotta capture him. That's the last person I wanna kill. All right. Well, stop shooting at us, then. Why are we running at him if he's just sitting there fucking shooting his gun at us? Get up there, bro. Get him before he gets away, Woods. Oh, boy. He's not fast. You're just slow as shit. Jump. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. That cinematic, bro. Damn. Oh, shit. He got rocked. He got rocked. I'm up. Let's go. What's up, bro? You better stop talking. Wait, wait, wait. Tell us where Arish is and you'll live. I just handle the money. I have no idea where Arash is. I feel like you're fucking lying out your ass. Ooh! Yo, can I throw this guy? You have rules. You took hostages. Nah, we ain't got rules, bro. Rules have changed. Exactly. The rules have changed. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Uh, oh, I swear, I swear. I, I feel know. like you're still lying, you Kasim. Don't make me throw you over, because I will. All right, release. I told you he would talk. Throw. Time to join your friends. Capture your combo. Hell no, we ain't got time to capture him. Your ass is going to the street. Bye. Have a good time. Because your ass is dead. Good. Unhappy landing. There it is. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright. So far, I'm liking this game. I know we've only been in here for like a total of five minutes now. But so far, I'm definitely enjoying this game. It plays a little different than of all the other games. So it's really cool how they're starting to kind of get away from how they were in like Black Ops 4 and everything. With the jump packs and everything like that. That's when I really honestly started to not like Call of Duty. When it was starting to turn into the jump packs and everything like that, I was not a big fan of that. 
I'm more of these like realistic everything like that not no exoskeleton bullshit This is what I love about Call of Duty and I'm glad they're starting to hopefully get back to that way Because that, that's when Call of Duty was Call of Duty You know back with like Call of Duty Big Red 1 and all that I grew up playing these games I didn't have Battlefield till I don't remember when But hopefully Call of Duty plans on staying like this and if that's the case, I'll continue buying their games. Switch to binoculars. Alright. Holy shit, that was blurry. I don't even know what the hell this guy looks like. How am I supposed to pick him out? Where? Oh, left side? Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go with he's probably in that. Oh, you think? Is that him? Right here? That definitely looks like him with that long hair. I do. Oh, shit. Yep, that's him. That's fucked. That's fucked. Yeah, no shit. That's him. For sure. Oh shit, give me that sniper, baby! I get the... Alright, hold L3. What? That's not where I was aiming. What the fuck? Alright, whatever. I guess we're rolling with that one, huh? Alright. Oh shit, the plane's taxiing? What? Oh fuck, I got fucked. Oh shit. Slid too far. Like the opposite of Paul Blart. He didn't slide enough. Me, I. Oh shit. My bad, Woods. My bad, bro. I'm coming. I'm coming, Woods. Go, 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 go. Let's go. We gotta stop that plane, damn it. Reload. What a shit time to have to reload. Holy shit. Just like fucking Siege, man. I got the worst. Fucking timings to reload. Alright, let's go. Hey, plane's over there, bro. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Bro, get the fuck out of here. Can, you, can I get a grenade launcher? That would... Oh, damn! Damn! Reload. Oh, watch out! Alright, can you guys, like, start fucking shooting or something? Like, damn! Use RCXD? Do you not realize we're in the middle of a fucking gunfight and you want me to use a goddamn RC car? Alright, here we go. Accelerate, hold... Alright, cool. Don't run me over, bitch. I'm going, damn it. I'm out of boost. Oh, shit. Oh, almost got ran over. All right. We're almost there. No, don't go on the plane. All right, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Got him. Doc, bitch. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I should probably still be firing my gun. Whoa, we're dead. Hey, buddy. You ain't supposed to drive up on the plane, dumbass. Oh fuck, this ain't good. Oh no. We're we're done. We're dead. We just suicide We just suicided it. Alright! Coming up on the next Call of Duty. Damn. Can we kill him like we did the other guy? Because this guy's clearly a piece of shit. What a... Oh, I just shot his ass. Let me get at him. You won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time that you didn't even know. <laughs> uh, 
Precious will watch the West back. I, I didn't want to hear about this. I didn't want to interrupt the talking, but what the hell was sticking out the back of his head? Who the fuck is Perseus? I don't know, but I got a feeling we're about to find out. No, I didn't know who Perseus is, but I got a feeling we're about to find out real quick. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson. We're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I sued to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Los Alamba. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it shifted the balance in the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Oh, shit! Greatest president in the history of the United States. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adams. I know their names. Who do you think approved? Ronald Reagan. Hot damn. Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. We're gonna try not to. We'll try not to fail you. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, no, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. Bell, welcome to West Berlin. Oh yeah, glad to be here. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Hey, how you doing? <clears throat> Let's get started. All right, what we got? A surge in Russian chatter in the last forty. The CIA and the DOD have tapped their inside sources. Anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. The fuck it? Okay. We'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. Oh, shit. Shit. 
Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack at Denang and run it past the mark. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. We needed the best of the CIA and SOM. That's exactly why I requested you again. Oh, appreciate it. Head to the evidence board. Retrace our steps to today. Anything that can give us a lead on Perseus. Is this the evidence board? All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be where we wrap up this episode. Uh, get in here, getting uh, the first part of it done. But, uh... Definitely going to come out with another one here very soon. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas. And I will catch y'all next episode. Have a good one, everybody.